On the 2nd of February 2012, I woke up and couldn't feel or move my legs. I swung around off the side of the bed to try and get up and stand up and completely collapsed to the floor. Overnight, my body attacked its own spinal cord, leaving me with paralysis from the waist down. That morning, I went into the hospital and the doctors deliberated the scans and what they'd shown, and they found out that I had a rare neurological disease. I just couldn't grasp how, if I couldn't walk, then I couldn't run, and if I couldn't run, then I couldn't go to practice and run around in circles for hours and hours. And if I couldn't run, then I couldn't be this amazing Olympian I'd dreamed of since I was a kid. And so when my mum said to me, do you want to go and watch the Paralympic Games in London? I was like, okay, not really expecting to, to see anything that good there. And that was the day it all changed for me. I went into that park and I pushed out and I was no longer a minority. I was amongst loads of other people that were in wheelchairs just like me and had similar disabilities. Nobody was looking at me because we were all the same. And so we set out, me and my mum, on this mission to find an athletics club and I pushed around this track and I was so, so slow. But I remember just this feeling of freedom that I hadn't had in a long, long time. But I realised in that point that I really wasn't fulfilling my passion and my purpose in life. And it was in the very two weeks that I was in the hospital uh, revisiting my old spinal centre at Stoke Mandeville that the British Rowing Talent Scouts for the para programme were there. And then two weeks later, I find myself 100 miles away from home in the middle of the Thames in a boat. The minute I pushed off from the stage, the minute I let go and just got on the water, watched my wheelchair fade into the distance, it was like freedom I'd never found since I was back running, back when I was a young kid. And I knew in that very moment that this is what I wanted to do. This was like the fire in my belly that I wanted and I'd been looking for it. Five months after I took my first strokes, I ended up in a World Championship start line. And we were not only the first boat to qualify for the both Olympics and Paralympics for GB, but we also rocked up and got a silver medal out of that championships. 18 months after I took my first strokes, I got selected to represent GB at the Paralympic Games. We just pushed off from the stage and not one of us said a word to each other, but we just pushed off knowing that, that we were going to do something great that day. Now it's looking as though Lauren Rolls and Lawrence Whiteley will win Paralympic gold. They are the champions. Two gold on the board for Great Britain. What a fairy tale story that is for them. That's fantastic. I remember when I lost sport and when I told I was going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life, it was like my world had come to an end. And so just 13 years old, I thought that, that was it, that was my life over. I told it like I was never going to make it anywhere in life, I was never going to hold down a job, I was never going to be independent. And then I found sport. I go through my ups and my downs, and there's times in the sport where you don't think you're going to make it through. And I've just got in and I've done it, and I've been around a group of people that support me so well. It's just my therapy, it's, it's like, it just heals me in a way. When we get out of bed in the morning, we have to overcome something. And then you come here and this is your escape. You get in the boat and it's your escape from your daily life. You don't need to be in your wheelchair, you're not in any adaptive equipment. But something I've really learned from rowing from, and from this place in general is how persistence pays off. And that one day, it may not be in a year, it may not be in six months or whenever, but at the very end you will reach that goal. GB Power Rowing. Not for everyone.